last season. So let's not forget, even though the it, the, the Premier League is superior to the Italian Serie A, but sporadically, these games, on a good day, if they catch you and you're not at your best, the Italian teams can hurt you. Even though yesterday we saw what Liverpool did to AC Milan in the Champions League by going there and winning 31. So, Arsenal needs to not lose this game. I'm not overly confident. I think we can get a win at Atlanta. I think we have better players. Even though we have two players who are now available at the weekend back in Declan Rice and Califuri. We've just seen pictures that Califuri was actually in training today. We read, uh, that I like that in the open training section. We saw Califuri was actually available for training. Welcome back to the present. Yes, Champions League tomorrow, Thursday. I don't know what we're playing on Thursday. Why are we playing on a Thursday? We're supposed to play Wednesday, Tuesday, but I don't know what's going on these days. But unfortunately, we are playing on a Thursday. It is what it is. We have to play it. If we visit Atlanta, that should be a good game. That should be a very, very good game before we get into the integrity of discussing the preview of the game. Uh, guys, like the video. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your notification bell. One more time, like the video. If you're new here, subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification. So, we go to Atlanta to play in the Champions League. We are all aware of the new format of Champions League. Uh, it's about points. Uh, home and away doesn't really matter like that. So, it's a tricky game. Uh, if you look at the domestic form of both teams, Atlanta have played four games, two wins, two losses. Arsenal has played four games, three wins and one loss. So, Arsenal have a better uh, domestic form. Atlanta, we know we have some tricky players. Ademola Lukman is looking on, look like a player on form. Uh, they, are, they are looking nice. It's Like I said, two wins from four games is not horrible. That's average. Well, last night I have uh, three wins and one draw. So, I don't know how to judge them because I've not watched Atlanta extensively this season. I've been very objective. I've not watched Atlanta extensively this season. So, I don't know what to really expect from them. But we know Italian teams are very, uh, very, very defensive. Uh, Atlanta have a way of playing in Euro. We saw what they did to Liverpool last season. So, let's not forget... Even though the, it, the, the Premier League is superior to the Italian Serie A, but sporadically, these games, on a good day, if they catch you and you're not at your best, the Italian teams can hurt you. Even though yesterday we saw what Liverpool did to AC Milan in the Champions League by going there and winning 31. So, Arsenal needs to not lose this game. I'm not overly confident. I think we can get a win at Atlanta. I think we have better players. Even though we have two players who are now available at the weekend back in Declan Rice and Califuri. We've just seen pictures that Califuri was actually in training today. We read uh, that I like that in the open training section. We saw Califuri was actually available for training. Uh, Declan Rice, obviously, not injured, was suspended in the Premier League. Now he's back. So, two good players back into the team. I uh, expect Arteta to rest a few players. Uh, the likes of Saka, should they be starting this game or should get a rest? Even though we know uh, at that level, players should be expected to play certain numbers of games. Uh, Timber has played his first 90 minutes in a long time after the ACL injury. Do you expect him to play another nine, potential 90 minutes? I don't think so. Maybe Califuri comes in for Timber. Uh, even though we know Timber, sorry, Califuri got an injury, uh, quote unquote, injury during the at the intentional break, and he was just out for a few days. So I don't expect him to become much rusty. So you should still have some much sharpness and fitness right there. So I expect Califuri to come for Timber. And the, the other side of the defense, I think the central defense picks itself, Saliba and Gabriel, the right back, Ben White. Uh, when it comes to party, party has played so many games in short period. He played two games for Ghana during the intentional break, two 90 minutes. Now I played on that 90 minutes at the London, London Derby. I think... Party deserves a rest. Uh, we have to manage party properly, especially with Moreno see, after the shoulder injury. We have to find a way to actually manage our players and their and their workload very, very smartly and effectively. So I'm expecting a few changes. Maybe it's time for Ramstein to be thrown into the deep end. Martinelli needs to get back in form. He played well, in my personal opinion, even though he's subjective. I'm saying on X, which is usually called Twitter before. Some Arsenal fans saying Martinelli was poor. I don't know what game they were watching because Martinelli played to instructions, in my personal opinion. So I don't know what game some of you are watching saying Martin was poor at the weekend. I do not objectively agree to that sentiment or narrative. So should Sterling coming for Saka, Saka gets a rest. That is Manja's call. I'm proposing a letter. I'm selling starts on, on the right, Martin on the left. Uh, in terms of the midfield, I'll go with Jorginho. He only plays first 19 minutes. I uh, we saw him re resetting himself some oxygen uh, in, on Instagram, making some jokes. I'm sure he's, he should be fit uh, for the game on 
uh, on, on which is tomorrow, which is, which is Thursday. So I'm expecting the midfield. I will go with Jorginho and Rice. That's brain and power and physicality in the middle. Then I'm tempted to play one area. Will he go with one area as the 10 or will he bring a Kai Havertz? Kai Havertz for me ran his socks off at the weekend in a 1 0 victory at Spurs. Uh, Kai Havertz has played so many games in a short period of time, playing for Germany and playing for Arsenal. I think he deserves a rest. I would personally go with one area, but I the Champions League, you can't take it for granted. We need to be progressive and to get as much points as possible. So if he decides to play Kai Havertz as a 10, I understand, but one area will not be out of place in my personal opinion. Then Jesus for me, I'll play Jesus as the 9. He came in in dying embers of the game. It's time to get some minutes into Jesus' legs in my personal opinion. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Give me your predicted 11 for the game. What changes will you make? How many rotations will you make for this for, for, for this game against Atlanta in the Champions League? Not forgetting, there's a new format to the Champions League, right? There's no more usual four, 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 uh, four teams in the group stage. Uh, they have like eight teams. It's a league format. You have to get the most points as, as high as possible. So I think we have enough in the squad to go there and win. I'm, 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 I'm soliciting for a win, but I will take a draw. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Arsenal should go there and play for a draw. My own that don't lose the game is very imperative. And I'm not taking Atlanta for granted. The fact that they've lost on two games in the domestic league and lost two doesn't mean their team should take for granted. We saw their exploit beating by Leverkusen in the final in the Europa League. So they're a very, very good team. They're a very, very good team. So I'm not going to take them for granted. So, but I still think we have enough to win this game. But I will not be overly angry with a draw. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Because some of you are like, why are you taking a draw? Like, we're asked now, we should, we should go down and win. Yes, we should. But this is football. And they have good players too. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, your way out, guys. Uh, like the video one more time. Very, very important. Subscribe if you're new. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. Let me know what you think. Give me your predicted level and the rotation and changes you make to the starting level for this game. And give me your score line, your, your prediction for the score line in this game, in the Champions League game, away to Atlanta. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>